This is GABNET, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. tonight in some form or another and here we go ladies and gentlemen we have a guest here we have buddy love has joined us and uh let's see if we can ha- ha- move in just a little more here there we go is that uh, better see if we can move you yeah i think you're fine yeah. i think you're okay i know i'm okay and fine as uh, yeah, fine. okay and fine yeah let me make all sure. of the above yeah make sure we're not uh over or modulating or over or uh, too much feedback or whatever anyway uh hello everybody this is uh, buddy love uh who is a uh, uh a musician and uh what else eh? singer entertainer uh, author very famous book uh, you ought to be me how to be a lounge singer and live like one yeah Ch- move, chapters, move over a little bit just so chapters that have changed the lives of 13 people yeah uh, Why is it your head looks huge? You do have a huge head, don't you? <laughs> is that a compliment? You have a huge uh, head. Uh, well, it's no, it's I've got which, hair. That's which, it. which also can... doesn't work well on uh, on uh, on on uh, uh, chroma key because it, it it you notice how it fringes up there? Mm-hmm. See, seeing that a little bit. I see it, especially in the hair. Uh, at any rate, it's great to be with you, Alex. Here in New York City. Here in New York City. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm here from New uh, from the Greater Bay Area, or as they like to say during the summertime, the Bater Gray Area because it's so foggy. Yeah. Well, smoky too. Smoky now. and foggy. How smoky has it gotten out there? Well, the C- Calder, I think it's the Caldor. Cal- yeah. Calder fire up there. Um, in the it sounds like country. a fire in a refrigerator, doesn't it? A Caldor. Yeah. yeah. I, yes, yeah. you too can have a wonderful turkey dinner at Thanksgiving with a new Keldor <laughs> oven range. Come to no, yeah. no I, I I should make light of it. Uh, a a fire the size of the state of <laughs> Rhode Island is, uh, is. Is that what they're saying? Yeah, over two hundred thousand wow. acres. That's amazing. Yeah. Well. So anyway, um, um, uh, let me see. I'm going to try and position you just a little bit better. Okay. Move over a little more this way if you can. Okay. I can. There I can. we go. There, look that's at that. Fine. Hey. That's perfect now. Oh, look. And your head is smaller than mine now. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, <laughs> bobbing and weaving. Yeah, yeah bobbing and yeah. weaving. Let me also turn up the air conditioner here. Would you? It's God, awful hot in here. Yeah. I want it to be like a meat locker. Can you do that? I can't turn it up to meat locker. But I, can, <laughs> I can turn it up meat to... Meat locker? I can, setting. Tur- I can turn it up to Caldor. Yeah. yeah. Caldor. Anyway. That also could yeah, be an the, evil the, the creature. Trouble on. The trouble with the Caldor fire right. uh, is that it is burning down the area where Marjorie and I got married. That's bad. And I don't know if this speaks a certain way oh. of... To us here. Yeah, I, I don't know. let us let us all pray. Yeah, um, no, for, especially for those people. I have friends that have homes uh, in the North uh, Lake Tahoe area. You know, but mm-hmm. not down in south. It's south. Is yeah. It? This is where the problems are, and uh, I think over thirty-five thousand homes are in direct line of this thing. It's not good. Yeah. It's yeah. not good. Now, somebody writes here, Forbin, who what writes on here all the time, Buddy Love from Jerry Lewis's Buddy Love, The Nutty no, Professor. No no, 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 no. That's of the Los Angeles loves. Uh, and it's also spelled... <laughs> Is this how you've explained it over the years? No, it's true. If you watch the movie, there's a scene where Stella Stevens and um, Jerry Lewis as Buddy Love, yeah. spelled, by the way, B U D D Y. L O V E. Right. No relation whatsoever. I'm right. Bud, first word, space, middle initial E, period, love. space, love, love. L U V, because love ain't a four letter word. So right. he's of the Los Angeles. So 
so he doesn't know his name. You know, he's he's kind of this character from, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> modern science. Uh, whatever concoction he drank was yeah. bringing him to this realm of buddy love. So he's dancing with Stella, and she looks up at him, you know, starstruck, and says, "Who are you?" And he hears in the background, "Hey, buddy!" And he goes, "Buddy." Really? Do you have a last name? And then you hear in the background, like the bad three-part harmony, jazz, love, 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 you know, that, and that, oh, buddy, love. Is so that how he got his name? That's how he, I got my name by um, uh, sheer imagination. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my, uh, my story goes as uh, my, my mother, Perithea, mm -hmm. um, and my father, Bud the Brute, Euripides Lovelopolis, was a famed middleweight boxing contender who squandered all of his purses mm -hmm. as a boxer and now is a dishwasher in Las Vegas and he steals Little Buddy from Perthea, who by the way, bathed Little Buddy in olive oil every third Sunday of the month. I don't know why, but you know, this is how the legend goes. Yeah. And from there, uh, when he was in the back, um, of the Riviera Hotel, I believe. Uh, his father's working as a dishwasher, but he's up on the steam table with the nozzle that he used to wipe off the, and he's singing into it when Milton Burrow walks through the, the back of the kitchen on his way to the, um, the, the stage and, and he sees little Buddy, their eyes lock, Mm -hmm. But he gets so excited, he almost falls into the deep fat fryer. It was, it was amazing. It was amazing. Amazing. Amazing story. Yes. <laughs> but, but, but he loved it. Yeah. Now, here's, here's the thing, though. Uh, I know you by a name. Yeah. Okay. My which, real name. Your yes. real name. Yeah. Which one? Not the character. The character is... But I first knew you as Bubba Lou. That's right. Bubba Lou with the great Bubba soul Bubba Lou singer. Vickers. I was the soul singer. And Dick Bright and I had an act yeah, called, close called the Bubble Lou and, and the Highballs. Mm -hmm. And we performed out at the Red Chimney, and we were the, the darlings of the hipster crowd back then, as well as San Francisco State, which was right near Stonestown Shopping Center, where we played. Well, I remember Stonestown at, Shopping Center. At the Red Chimney. It's not there anymore, oh, is no, it? No, 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 Stonestown. No, no. no, Stonestown is there, but the Red Chimney. But is Stonestown Shopping Center still there? say a little, little, oh, God, yes. Really? Absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. But um, the Jack LaLanne, um, you know, Jay Briggs was in there. Uh, and, of course, the Red Chimney, where um, we had a five-nighter, uh, three sets a night. Well, I, what I remember best about Stonestown, hot dog on a stick. Yes. you could With the it. women. Who, with the plunger making yes. the lemonade? Yes. Wearing scantily... Uh, uh, there was there's somewhat, you know, by by t today's terms, not that scantily. No, clad, no, but, but they, but they were they, them, they, 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 they were dressed to, to in, in, provoke. Right, to provoke, and they were mm -hmm. wearing bad polyester, yeah. which is a, a f unforgiving garment uh, yeah. fabric. Uh, yeah. And by the way, if I may say to your audience... Please wear natural fibers versus synthetics. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that that would be a a good uh, idea. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, let me see here. I just want to do a few things here. See, I have so much I have to do here, and when I've got someone in the room with me. Oh yeah, it's, it is. It's kind of hard for me to do. You know. Well, yeah. you know. Uh, because I, you know, when you're here, it's funny. I have a. a a whole kind of thing I go through, ritual. You have a ritual. To get things a, going and right. everything. I do this first, then I do that, and then I do this, and I do that. All of a sudden, I've got you over in the corner in a chair who's going to roll in here, and I'm all, I, and it's, I, so I'm, I can't figure out what to do next. Yeah. And, you, know. you have spilkus, in other words. I have spilkus. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Major spilkus. <laughs> you can't say spilkus. You're not Jewish. I'm on Jew honorarum. You're Jew-ish. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah my, Jew my wife uh, is Jewish. Mm -hmm. um, we're here in New York staying with um, Alex and, yeah. Mar and Mark. It's really strange, though. I got to tell you, because she's Jewish, right? My You're not. Is, no. She's a doctor. Yeah. Jews like to have their children marry doctors. I know. 
My mother was alive so today. So really, she's the bigger. You're the bigger Jew in oh. the family because you married. A I doctor. married a doctor. Not only that, <laughs> I married a Jewish doctor from Scottsdale, New York. My mother would be proud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got here in time for the floods. That was unbelievable. Oh, that last night, uh, I, I actually fell asleep during probably the worst of the downpour. Uh, I was tired yesterday. I should be tired today. I walked in this fine city of yours mm -hmm. 8.1 miles. Yeah, I'm jealous because I can't walk that far anymore. Oh, that's, I uh, could barely walk that far. And I did it in, in, in the, the most, um, probably the worst pair of shoes I could have brought along. I almost bought a new pair today. Really? Yeah. I came very close. Uh, is uh, second Broadway your, one of your sponsors? What? <laughs> sponsors? Well, let's let's have one right now. Second Broadway on uh, Bleecker and whatever the heck uh, in the Soho district, a fine place to find vintage clothing for your needs, <laughs> or perhaps you don't need them at all. Well, you bought some uh, weird shorts or something. No. Rachel bought them, and um, get close to them. Rachel bought them, and I would have to say, I have to lose about ten pounds to comfortably wear them. I could, I could get into them, but mm -hmm. I love the fabric. Yeah, is that a good way of telling your wife, honey? They're fantastic. I love the fabric. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and never wear them. Just you know, put them in. A Can drawer. we talk about a little affliction that you have? that you got because of music. Yeah, okay. Can well, we talk about that? Sure, sure. Uh, because I, I, I just noticed for the first time, because you can't really see them. You've got the, uh, I'm surprised that you don't accidentally get them stuck oh. in your ear. You mean, oh, oh, that, oh, did you hear the feedback? You mean these little babies? Wow, those are. These are high tech, baby. Okay, yeah. You know who told me to get these particular? Who? Who? Here's another, maybe we could get them as a sponsor. What? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I, can't I got a carrot in my ear. You better ear. put your ear. Okay, it's, no. It's so, put them in there. I no, can't I can't hear you. Okay. Yeah. You can't hear me because I don't have my hearing aids yet. How does that By work? By the way, that feedback is very reminiscent of my mother who, uh, she had the old fashioned hearing aids. All those things were And those way. things used to, she used to feedback yeah. all the time on me and she was so deaf she didn't hear the feedback. Yeah. Okay. My favorite is the, the bad denture fit. You know, it's really swell. You, you kid. You know, the, the, every S goes right through them, and yeah. it's, it's a whistle. Fact. Well, I love the joke about hearing aids. About a guy who said, "I just got these hearing aids. They're the best hearing aids that you can possibly buy, right. and and they are marvelous. They're wonderful." And the guy says, "Well, what kind are they?" And he said, three o'clock." <laughs> what kind good, is it? Yeah, I should. yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah. But um, anyway, so so uh, all those years of, of playing music and being near drums. amps and stuff like that gave you having, what we call having, in the business Peter Townsend syndrome. Tinnitus uh, is what basically it starts with ringing in the ears and slowly you lose certain frequencies in your hearing. Um, basically, I was either going to stay married or get hearing aids because I was driving my wife out of her frigging mind. Uh, it was, especially when you get up in the morning, because you can't hear well anyway, even yeah. with hearing aids. Yeah. I'm, I'm like focusing in on things. And then you have my wife, who's timber, mm -hmm. in the side of a pillow, is about as, you know, good to listen to and, and pick up the articulation of every syllable and consonant. Forget it. She's what? I couldn't hear. I couldn't you, hear. you couldn't hear that. I couldn't hear anything. So now I, I, I put them in. And this is what. Well, I yeah. Hear. When you took those out, you seem to be able to hear me okay. No, I can because you're in my close proximity. Yeah. And I, I can hear fine. Right. But I can't hear nuances. I can't hear uh, crisp um, diction. Mm -hmm. It's it's muddle. Everything is a little muddy sounding. Mm -hmm. um, and the volume isn't as good. Now I can hear that air conditioner. If I take these out, the tinnitus blocks it. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing, you yeah. know, it's really high pitch that 
is in the back. Okay, so here. now when, so when you put these in, yeah. it knocks that down too. Now They're you fantastic. say that those are great hearing aids. It's a phenomenal. Uh, Widex, W I D E. Can I ask about what price range they come in? in? About the forty-two hundred dollar range. Really? That's and and you know with uh, Medicare, you can get hearing aids. Now, if you want to go into the, you know, what we call the deluxe ones, you'll pay a difference. You'll pay a little something to, to make it happen. But I'm telling you, I've, I've worked. Okay, with so what does this do? I mean, I, like, for instance, my business manager right. has hearing aids. Right. I don't, and thank God, I've never had to have them. Uh, uh, and my hearing's pretty good. Yeah, well, you've had. Uh, well, but I, you know, I use earphones all the time. I know, but you can control the volume, and you're not getting 123 yeah, yeah. decibels. But uh, a snare drum head is extremely loud. It's like you yeah. know a jackhammer, um, and then you have uh, cymbal crashes that are hitting other frequencies, uh, and guitars, and it, it gets loud on a stage. I, I would get, yeah. I would get off a stage on any given night, and my ears would be ringing. Incessantly, till I finally. When did would you fall first asleep. notice that? After how many years of doing what you do? It was worse when I was a kid because back then the the sound equipment they had PA systems uh, were putting out about one point two to two point three, almost three percent in certain uh, frequencies distortion, mm -hmm. and that's enough to really do some serious damage to your hearing. Okay. So when we were going to the Boston Tea Party or wherever you would go, you know, Fillmore, whatever it was, the sound equipment they had back then was not as good as it is today. But today, they do something even worse. They put it out at 132 decibels, and the bass... Well, I've gone in. I've gone into concerts. In fact, I stopped going to them yeah, for this because, reason. Because I would walk out, and I couldn't hear. You couldn't. You can't. I saw Prince. And once I woke up the next morning, and I still couldn't hear. Yeah, I saw Prince. Uh, had a killer band. Yeah. A uh, Candy Dulfer on saxophone. I mean, just monster band uh, at the San Jose. Uh, what they call the Shark Tank. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the sound was so loud, I had my fingers plugged in my ears, and I still couldn't. Distinguish. Move your head in just a little. I couldn't distinguish any of the uh, instruments. It was just a blur right. of sound. The kick drum was hitting you in the chest. You could feel the kick but drum. But you the, couldn't hear it. But no, you couldn't differentiate any yeah. of the instruments. It was just a muddled. And now, when, when now he did, sang, you couldn't understand a lyric you, he was singing. Yeah. Did you go oh. through a period of time? Uh, just move. You see here? Okay. Yes. Look, see where your head is. That, yeah. That's what you want to look at. I want to look at that, but yeah. you asked me to then go into right. the microphone. Well, that's okay. okay. That's all right. Can you and, hear me? Out? Anyway, can the, you hear me out the there? Point, Hello. The point is this: Did you, for a while, were you like my mother was, denying the fact that she needed a hearing aid? In other words, mm. she always used to go rather than admit I I can't hear that. Right. What she would say, I didn't get that. Yeah. And um, and so there's a cer certain point. Was there a certain denial you went through? Yes. Uh, there was a certain denial, um, and it was always a frustration to communicate um, with women. You know, like if I was dating somebody. Well, I've always had trouble communicating yeah, well, with women. We all do, but uh, yeah. you know, then when I got married, it became a real issue because my wife, she does not suffer fools, at all. And if right. if you don't take care of something that's, you know. Logically fixed. She's a doctor. She, you know, yeah. oh, you put a hearing aid in it, you hear better. You yeah. know that's the way. Right. She, so she she basically put her foot down and said, "You're getting hearing aids," and God love her. She she helped get me the first set, which were the ones that fit in your ear and you don't have anything you know behind, and they were horrible because you start chewing food. And you, you hear do that, it. Yeah, and yeah. You, then you push them out. The air would push them out, and you're constantly pushing them back in your ears, yeah. and they were uncomfortable. So how did you find these? Were, did you just go somewhere and say, give me the best, or did you study? Bob Weir of the Grateful Dead yeah. told me about them, and this was right after another dear friend of mine who had just gotten a set of these, and he said, oh, yeah, these Widex, and then it was 
reinforced when I saw Bob Weir and I saw he was wearing them uh, at this little jam session. Which you can't we even, I couldn't even tell you when I was, uh, this is the first time I've been able to actually see them. Yeah. Well, you're seeing them because you're looking yeah, right at my yeah, ear. Yeah, but I mean, I was never this close. I mean, under yeah. normal conditions, most people would never know you were wearing a hearing aid. No, that's the cool now, thing Now, does this it. also have that special thing where if you're on the telephone, you, oh, yeah. you can t take oh, yeah. the Wi-Fi? The Bluetooth, and the Bluetooth, Bluetooth goes Bluetooth. right into your earphones, which really drives my wife nuts. <laughs> because she'll be coming in and I'll be talking into the phone. And it's like I'm talking to the air, you know. Is he crazy? And then she realizes that she wants to get my attention, and I'm going like this, and no, you don't do that to my wife. Yeah. When she walks into the room, you pay attention or you pay the price. No, right. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I sound like uh, Don Rickles, by the way. I'm yeah. catching Don Let me Rickles. see here. Any notes here? Let's yeah, see. Buddy so. Love and the Dick Bright Orchestra at the Breakfast yeah. with Bennett. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Of course, you yeah. know that one. Uh, let's see. Great Memories, Me Too Bun. Uh, buddy love uh, there's some where are you reading these what oh over here there we it, it is somewhat surprising that loud sound is not regulated by OSHA to save listeners hearing yeah. not that I'm recommending regulation of loud music but it's truly damaging you know it is it, it really is. is yeah and uh, no um it's it's interesting how when I was younger, the tinnitus after a loud rock concert was a little different than as I got older. It was wide ranging. You'd hear, you know, your lows, everything went, you know, the whole right. spectrum was just destroyed. But by everybody, you're doing. but also kids today growing up, uh, and, a lot, and this was also part of my generation was this way too, love to turn their stereos up full blast. Yeah, yeah. You know, I have these guys turn driving, it down. here yeah. in Harlem, we have these guys driving down the street with their stereo on complete blast, We were in the, and, the, and the, the car is throbbing. Yeah, no. You know, yeah. they're we going to be deaf someday. We were on uh, Bleecker today, and um, a UPS was Mm -hmm. parked right in the middle of it and there was a guy coming up in a Malibu, Chevy Malibu, yeah. with a subwoofer in his trunk that, you know, could paralyze us. And it was so friggin' loud. And then he was on the horn screaming at the guy. <clears throat> you know, we could really get into these kids today with their loud music and their long yeah, hair. Yeah, but, but I mean, the in fact In my that day, we had real bands with real bands. The people names. don't realize that when they're doing that, even at a young age, they're, they're destroying their hearing. Yeah. They really are. I mean, it's not like, hey, I'm 18, I've got 20 good years or 30 good years of my hearing like this. No, the fact is you're blowing your ears out from the get-go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then playing in a band, as I started to play music, I was a drummer and a singing drummer. So that means I had a loud PA system blaring in my ears. I was smashing a snare drum, which every time you hit a snare, what they call a rim shot yeah. at full volume, it's a it's a percussive sound that can go up to one hundred. But how about the decibels. drummers? How about some of the ma drummers in some of the major bands? Have they gone deaf, or oh. is it because they're wearing earphones? What? <laughs> no, no. They're Mick, uh, well, I mean, you know, Peter Townsend's most famous for having gone deaf as a result of all yeah. those years of playing at such loud decibels. Yeah. To the fact that eventually they had to change the name of the group from the Who to the What. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, it, yeah. Um, but getting to that, one of, one of I, I know jokes. I know many people. It's one of my better jokes. It is a good joke. Okay. I'll 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 tell my other one that I love. But uh, getting back to uh, loud music, uh, I have many friends um, that are, you know, big in the rock and roll world. Mm -hmm. Some of whom have lost their hearing. Um, you know, Mickey. Mickey Hart of the Grateful Dead is, is bad hearing. Um, he's almost deaf. Bob Weir wears the same hearing aids that I do, and his hearing is fine. My hearing's great. Um, yeah, but these. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, a lot of those drummers do wear headsets. 
They do now, but they didn't. And those back in the day. Is, do the headsets protect? The headsets them? are protecting your ear because it's not letting in 123 to 134 decibels. And hopefully, they absorb enough of the outside noise that okay. you don't get it. You're covering it. You're getting it. You know, yeah, because like I wear these earphones here, that uh, that have a little sponge thing on, them, right. and I do that, and then they spread out when I'm in there, and so really it. It, it kills some of the outside noise. Yeah. You know. It's good. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, uh, you want to uh, talk to some of our people here? Sure. See what they want Let's to talk let, about? Let, let it on. You know, uh, we'll, we'll let them in here. Uh, as uh, the if you see here. And let me, uh, uh, let me see. Let me, oh, there's uh, there's our good friend William Ferguson's there again tonight. Hello, William. Hey, Bill. How hey, are you? Are you? Just talking Ferguson. about Pete Townsend. What? You were just talking about Pete Townsend? Yeah. Well, the, the part where he went deaf, if you remember that Smother Bro Smothers Brothers episode with the drum that exploded? Yeah. Yeah, that's, and you see him do this. That was the beginning of the end, yeah. Yeah, that was, yeah. It, that was, they, that they, was showed the him, they showed him the playback, and he's like, yeah, that's where I lost my hearing. It was, it was the Dick Cavett show. Oh, was it? Yeah, and 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 then it happened again. Talk closer. It happened again on the Smothers Brothers show. So it was one of his pranks uh, that went awry twice. Not once, twice. Right. Yeah. Not yeah. good. Not, Not good. good. Are you flooded you, out, Jeff? No, I'm good. Ah, good. Very lucky. Hey, Jeff. Yes. We were not flooded out here in Harlem. Uh, however, uh, a lot of New York got flooded out. Yeah. You know, uh, but it wasn't, you know, they say, uh, watch out for flash floods. And it wasn't flash floods. It was just a lot of water that went down into the subways. Yeah. And, but some of the streets were flooded out. Yeah. New I, Jersey and Pennsylvania well, were flooded. I went over to my park here. Right. Um, and uh, went to see what happened there because we get a, they got a pond there. And the pond did overflow, and there was a flood. It had flooded out a certain area, you know. Yeah. So, so if you weren't if you weren't awake in the middle of the night, you wouldn't have known if there was a flash flood or uh, just a lot of rain. Right. And I didn't see any tornadoes. It did. Did you see any uh, tornadoes? No tornadoes. Yeah, the, the, we did. Tornado get warning wasn't watch. for New York. It was for New Jersey. Or no, I else. got it for Harlem. Did you really? I, yes, I got I, one of I, those things where it blasts away. Beep, 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 beep. Beep. You know. I got the same one on my phone. I'm telling you, wow. there was a tornado watch. A, it was a saying, weather weather amber alert. Yeah, if, mm -hmm. it was saying if you are sleeping near a window, get away. I swear to God. I, yeah, I, I get those the city. amber alerts for they call them silver alerts. Yeah, when somebody over sixty gets lost around here. Yeah. yeah. Really? I never heard of that. Yeah, Silver yeah. alert for oh. the hair color. I don't know. It's oh, a oh, yeah, old I, people that Yeah, well, lost I, I, I guess I'm I'm probably I come find me. I'm lost. Uh yeah. We 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 want to flood out at least for one day. You, you, you what? We want to flood out for one day, California. Oh, oh yeah, that would be very nice. Yeah, that'd be great. The only trouble is, is that all the places that have had fires now don't have any trees to prevent the water from starting mudslides. Right. I mean, the, the aftermath of forest fires are mudslides. Mm. Yep. Yeah. That's, uh, that's not a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. How bad is the air in, in um, are you in the Bay Area? San Jose. San Jose. Yeah. So. Yeah, it, it depends on the, the wind. Right. You know, it could be a clear day here one day, and then the next day it's just really, really yeah. bad. Wow. Today wasn't good. Today was a bad day. It, it must be bad in San Jose. You're all yellow. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's and yellow. The valley. Yeah, and the valley. The I'm in uh, I'm in the valley, so it's uh, yeah, it stays in here when yeah. it's here. Yeah. I, well, I live in San Francisco, and um, we're we're headed back in a couple of days, and I'm I'm hoping that uh, they can get this thing contained. A fire the size of Rhode Island is yeah. is just mm. yeah, but stunning. Rhode Island's pretty small. Yeah. It is. <laughs> it's two hundred and thirty two thousand acres. You know, yeah, right now the e there's anything left to burn here in California. No, there's plenty. So oh, the EPA, no, there's still plenty. Huh. 
Hey, buddy, the EPA site, Clean Air Quality by the EPA, says San Francisco is supposed to have good to moderate the rest of the week. Moderate is, unless you have asthma or COPD, you'll be fine in San Francisco. Well, last year, I think in early September, um, my wife was headed to work and she pulled the curtains back and it looked like Mars. I mean, yeah. it was orange. You couldn't see the sun. No. I mean, it, it was gone. It was obliterated by smoke and, and the yeah. sky was orange. The Bay Area hasn't been hit that hard this year from all the smoke. Oof. I don't know why. Still early. Last year, two two or three years ago, remember how bad it was? We had to wear masks and stuff yes. and all that. Yeah. yeah, three years ago, four years ago. Yeah, yeah. right down the road from N95s. Us, right? Yep. Yeah, that's what three, I. That's where I got my N95. Three M. <laughs> oh, but if you're looking for more, Amazon has them at a good price. Thank Genuine you for that three too. M. We should get. Uh, Actually, they've been saying that the you, the N95s are are. are really for the average person it should be saved for doctors and hospitals well they have plenty of them but they have plenty um, of them but they i found that they they're more uncomfortable than just the normal surgical mask they are they don't well, and, and the normal have. surgical mask will take care of the situation i'm not talking about covid i'm talking about well, the fire oh the fires oh, okay yeah. that's a different story sorry if, if i'm getting for the on fires you need the n95 apparently yes it for it yeah. to work yeah yeah, yeah. 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 But they they are uncomfortable. However, you're out walking, Ray. Uh, I thought you had to yeah. uh, be laid up for a while. I did. I so I have nice. a brace on and I have a cane, and I'm walking super slow. Okay, good. Now, who, I just couldn't who, stand sitting around anymore. Who is Cheryl Robbins? Are you there, Cheryl? If you don't answer, I am going to go say goodbye Sounds to you. Sounds fake. Huh? Cheryl? Sounds fake. Yeah. Sounds fake. Cheryl Robbins. Yep, there goes Cheryl Robbins. I'm they, now I'm going to get a whole bunch of stuff here to answer. Uh, yeah, I'll report them. Submit. Okay. Good. Well, they just, uh, thanks for submitting report. You see how this happens? They can't, like, do this off to the side. No, they have to screw up the whole screen. In my day, wait a minute, we didn't have this in my day. Well, it's still my day. Hmm? Buddy Love, I used to be one of those kids going to breakfast with Bennett's. I was in line like at 5 a.m., get in front row at CU. I was the one to put Dick Bright Orchestra on the on the chat. Yeah. So, yeah, I used to see you guys all the time. Yep. A lot of fun. Hey, but wait a minute, wait a minute. When you were a kid? When you, I was young, I said. When I was younger. When you were young. How yeah. old were you when you came I was one of those kids. I was, I was 18, 19 years old. Wow. Oh, uh -huh. God. Did you, God. Did you ever go to the... Um, Supper with Schwartzman shows. I want, yeah, I want one. One of yeah. those. We because um, I don't know when we the buddy love because we were regulars on the show. Yeah, the trio. I even brought the big band in once. Do you remember yeah. when mm -hmm. I brought the horn section in? Oh, we we did, well, we did that. And you whenever we did it. the uh, the uh, Christmas shows. Yeah, but yeah. in your studio. Oh yes, you did bring in. The I horn brought section. in six horn players, and wow. we had uh, the rhythm section. Um, except, uh, yeah, no, Hatfield had it done. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but, on we, his but we did, when we did, we did a couple of uh, Supper Schwartz meets with I did at the, least four band. or five with yeah, the band with the at band. the Fairmont Hotel. Mm -hmm. And it was yeah. the Buddy Love. And that was, that was a good band, too. Killer band. I mean, I, look, uh, Dick Bright, uh, I love as a person. Yeah. But your band was better. Yeah, well, thank you. No, I'm serious. I mean, it was more the, it, 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 his was more of a dance band. Right. Yours was a big band. Yeah, we could swim. Yeah, yeah. And we could rock. Yeah. We could but play for the youngsters and the oldsters. Yeah, yeah. but you'd let what? Alex sing. Hmm? Which used to yeah. When the shark bites. Yeah, oh, my God. Has such teeth. <laughs> yeah. That he shows them pearly whites. Just a jackknife. Where's old Maggie the deer? And he keeps And he keeps them out of sight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when the shark bites with his teeth, yeah. Scarlet billows, ooh, they start to spread. that? Fancy gloves, though. Where's old Mac Heath, dear? So there's never 
never, never a trace of a trace red. Of red. Then we modulate on that sidewalk. Yeah. Up, up. Ooh, <laughs> Sunday morning, don't you know? Lies about day, uh, just oozing life. And there's someone, yeah, sneaking round the corner. Could it be that cat named Mac the Knife? Another modulation. Uh, there's a tugboat. Uh, are, are we going for the, the whole this, song? Now, by the river, don't you know? <laughs> yeah. I did too much. This is the night that Alex That's got enough. kicked off of Facebook. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> I said, does everybody know this is the night Alex got kicked off of Facebook? Did I get in that? No, I didn't. I'm kidding. Well, last <laughs> night you thought you might get Lori kicked off. Well, we were trying him. last night. Yep, so. Trying hard. Hey, how are Mikey and Marky? Are they in? Uh, Marky yeah. and Mikey are, well, I got to say, Marky. You got to explain who they are. Marky Love, no relation to Buddy Love, uh, different mother, same father. <laughs> no, something like that. Anyway. No relation. That's a part of a relation. No. Mar Marky part. Love uh, just um, got a knee replaced. I've had both my knees replaced. You know replaced. something? This is getting to be ridiculous. This <laughs> is getting to be like the Alex <laughs> Bennett waiting room. The doctor <laughs> will see you now. What? Oh, let's talk about your hearing aids. Now no, let's talk hearing, about your knees. knees. Now let's talk knees. about your friend's knees. Well, well Marky. Hey, how have you met Jeff? Jeff's had his heart replaced. Oh, no. You know. <laughs> So, at any rate, uh, Marky had his knee replaced. Uh, Mikey silent, is yeah. playing every gig he can get because we're, you know, dying mm -hmm. to play and perform for people. Uh, I have one gig booked with the Buddy Love. By the uh, way, you've had your shots, haven't you? Oh, yeah. I'm awfully close to you, right? No, <laughs> I've had both my shots. I've had uh, both my shots, and I'm extremely care. I wear a mask out. Uh, well, outside. I've had mine. I mean, yeah. this, this is this yeah. temper count. Uh, <laughs> You're killing me. You're hmm. killing me. So, uh, at any rate, um, where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? No, I was one talking gig. about... One gig. Yeah, I've got a gig December 23rd. Uh, it's the night before the night before Christmas at the chapel. We do this every year. We've been doing this uh, with a couple of years w where we couldn't find a, uh, a venue to stay open. So... Uh, this year, I think it'll be our fifth time at doing it at the chapel, and it's a perfect, perfect venue for the full orchestra and the trio. You really? get two, two, two shows in one. Uh, and um, I look forward to it every year. I So knock on wood that uh, we can do it this year, because last year, of course, we couldn't. And it hurt me, and I can't hide my pain, nor will I. Okay. We should have a West Coast Gabnet uh, field trip. To go what see it, yeah. Ray. Oh. Why are you so dark? It's because I'm outside. You're in Palo Alto, walking in Palo Alto. Is it? Dark? I, what I time outside. is it? Oh yeah, it would be. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, eight, eight fifteen. Yeah, it's yeah, it just got dark. Yeah, ten minutes, fifteen minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. I like it. So you're going for a walk, and you got cabinet yeah. on with uh, Alex Bennett. This is great. Yeah, I always do this. Now I got uh, why, why don't you just turn on your. Uh, I guess you can't turn on your lights because they don't go forward into your face. Well, I have the screen on full blast, so I have some light. Yeah. No, they, yeah. <laughs> Barely. It's, it's really My older a phone lot. was brighter. Yeah. Uh, hand up. There yes, can... uh, yes, uh, Alan. Uh, quickly, uh, Jack Bishop won't be doing the show. The I was going to mention that. I'm oh, sorry. I didn't know it was for the rest of the week. Well, uh, yeah, Look your, at Corey your Nelson. pal Amy told me. My pal, too. I like her. I know you guys got a disagreement, but anyhow. Disagreement? Um, Amy, I, I can't Amy stand her, me. but anyway, what? I know. That's what. That's a disagreement. Anyhow, she told me, she said that Jack was moved from a local hospital to... Oh, yeah, well, out. I talked to him today, okay? So oh, okay. let me... Let me uh, Why don't you fill in then? I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I was going to do it later, oh. you know, when for, to keep the flow of the show going, you know. But oh no, you had to bring it up. You had wow. to bring it up. Uh, some people get forgiven. He, he is right. he is like a, a uh, somebody who like when you're driving a car and they're drunk and they start tugging on the steering wheel. I know. Yeah. That. Anyway, that's a good analogy. Bad citizen. Yeah. Bad citizen. Yeah. That's a good analogy. Uh, uh, anyway, um, I talked to him today, 
And what happened was, get this, he's in Texas. Great place to get sick. So he, to begin with, he fell. He didn't, he didn't pass out. He fell because of his neuropathy. And he hit his head on the dining room table. Oy. Or on the oh. kitchen table. Got a, not a concussion, but a contusion. Okay? Mm -hmm. So they took him to a hospital, but that hospital couldn't take him. Because of the Because COVID. they're all filled up. They didn't have a single hospital bed. This so they the took problem. him to another hospital, and Same they deal. couldn't take Same him. Same deal, yeah. Third hospital couldn't take him. Finally, he wound up in Plano, Texas. They had a bed for him. Oh, uh, somebody died to give it to yeah. him. Now, the, the, now she says he's going to be there for two more days or something. Or? Uh, uh, he said that they were going to release him today, and that um, it looks like tomorrow morning he'll be released. And she doesn't think the show will be, well, obviously not. Today. Well, that's her surmising. I'm waiting yeah, to probably hear. Probably not tomorrow. I'll wait to hear from him before I believe. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Scott Boddicker's over there, Plano, Texas. Huh? Scott Boddicker is in Plano, Texas. Yeah, he is. Uh, yeah. Scott, Maybe if you're watching Scott's us, give us a call. <laughs> Go visit him, please. <laughs> Go visit him. Yeah. I mean, wow. it, it doesn't seem, uh, I, I, it doesn't sound serious, serious, okay? It was serious in that he hit his head, okay? That's not good. And, and the problem with, uh, boy, this is really getting to be a show for old people, yeah, isn't it? It really is. Get, getting old I, is it's not always been. Business. Hmm? He's the Getting youngest there. one here. No, these two are the youngest, right? William, how old are you, William? 52. He's yeah. 52. Oh, kids. Oh, and and uh, a baby. Uh, he was 18 and 19. Well, well Brian, is, uh, Brian is, I think, around 50, right, Brian? 53 or 54, something like that. Oh, 53 or 54, something like that. Yeah. I'm so 39. I would, have, I would have to say, if you say 53, 54, something like that, I'm betting 54. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say Ray and I are in the middle. Oh. I'm, so no, I'm going to be 60 younger. in November. Huh? I'm going to be 60 in November. Oh, well, see, I'm 62. So You're all kids. So. Yeah. You're all but kids. Well, kids. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, Jeff's almost a kid compared to me. Jeff's oh, what? 73, uh, 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 Jeff? 74? 75? Wow. Have we been talking that long that you've aged? You, know. you can actually read his lips. He's silent. He's, he's silent. Turn your yeah. mic on. He doesn't have his mic on. No. no. That's Jeff. That's he interest. lives up in That's Connecticut. I actually Jeff. know him. I've I've chatted with Jeff uh, Jeff in this very room, but he's not conversive tonight. That's okay. I... Well, no, he's got to turn on his mic, and that will take us another hour hour to get him to do it. Here, you want me to help you? Here, Mike. Uh. I mean Jeff. Uh, let me see here. Um, where, you know, this thing where, turns where, off. Oh, there it is. There, oh, there, there, he is. there it is. There we go. Good to hear your, yeah. your dulcet tones. Sorry. I was going to go. What were you saying now? <clears throat> I said this thing turns off by itself. Yeah, that we heard. Yeah. Okay. What were you saying while it was off? I don't know. Oh, that I'm younger than uh, Alex. Oh, okay, yeah. good. That's all that counts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm older than you now. Buddy love. But he loved with with all the with all the social media and everything. Yeah. Now, have you guys? Did you guys really thrive with all that stuff with the band stuff? Uh, or? We did one, um, actually two shows that you can go on uh, YouTube and find uh, under the uh, umbrella of Music in Place. They have a if you go to Music in Place and scroll down, you can find uh, our first show, which was the trio in Buddy's bunker. And it's pretty funny. Uh, the second one is in a, um, it's with a full band, but we did it over in, uh, over in the East Bay, I believe in Oakland, where they, where they made all the Jeeps during World War mm -hmm. II. It was a Ford uh, factory, and they, uh, they, they turned it into a Jeep factory. Richmond. And uh, now it's, you know, warehouse, not warehousing, but uh, office space, you know, they, they, mm -hmm. they, Renovated. Where was this again? In Oakland, Richmond. No? Along near the the um, uh, not the mortuary. The what? What do they call it? That? The old four plant. Estuary. Is on the, on the, what's that now? The estuary. The estuary. <laughs> actually, not. It's actually in Richmond. It's the old four plant. Okay, thank you. Then. Oh, wait, yeah, it's actually in it Richmond. It was in the Close East enough, Bay. Thank miles. you for 
helping me out, uh, you know, but it was no really problem. fun. And if you want to catch it, you can go on uh, YouTube, Music in Place, and scroll down, and there's two shows there. Other than that, I've done a few things with friends. Uh, it's, it's not easy being a performer and performing in a vacuum. This isn't a vacuum because there's actual people there and you're conversing in a, in a music situation. You're singing a song, you're telling a story, you're emoting, you're doing all these things and you finish and it's crickets. You can only imagine what's going on. Which Well, I've, I've talked to comics who they, they, they do like uh, comedy shows on Zoom, yeah. okay? And uh, uh, Bub says he's done some of them and they're terrible. Yeah. It's just yeah. horrible. It's, and so does Slayton said it was just horrible too. It's really bad. That it's, you know, it makes, you know, what you're doing your comedy, uh, right? Yeah. Uh, there's no audience there to react to it. It's, or, it's very uh, hard to gauge an audience that you can't see. Uh, Tell me about it. You know? Well, you can see your audience. There, yeah, but you look, know. we only got what, 29 people watching right Co now. Corey Nelson loves me. Why isn't she on this thing? Corey. She? I think it's a he. Corey? No, that's a... It could be. No, it is a, got, it, it, it's got long hair. It's got long it hair. Looks like sorry, a, Corey. Uh, <laughs> he uh, comes with his own lube. Air quality. <clears throat> Today in Sacramento was moderate. Haha, ha, totally for... Okay, Today in Sacramento was a moderate 74 Look, she, she can't stop, but she won't get her Is it a she? Uh, he or she. I mm, think we, it's a she. We can't she. tell. It's too small a picture. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing a she. Am I seeing cleavage there, maybe? No, no, no. no? no. Okay. But look at how long the hair is. The hair's down to here. Yeah, it's just so a little a picture, guy. as you know. Anybody uh, out there who are, are on the chat who would like to surmise? Well, Corey, just tell us. Are you male or a female? Uh... Zim. Hey, buddy. Buddy. An Hi, other. Sam. Yeah. Corey. An other. Uh, knows that Buddy Love is on Spotify. You can you can create your own um, Pandora Buddy Love. Yeah, yeah, oh, well, woman. I'm, I'm woman. On Spotify. Woman. Corey, I'm a woman. See, I told okay. you. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, Corey. Uh, sorry, we didn't want to. Uh, we why didn't, won't you come on and you know? No, but be a we part weren't being. We weren't being. Uh, what could we call it? Uh, Inviting and no kind. nasty about saying we didn't know whether you were a man or a woman. I but thought the it picture was a woman. is so small we can't tell. I thought it was a woman. And I was correct. Okay. Corbin Colossus says Ray Rinaldi is making me Rinaldi. feel. Rinaldi? Yeah. You, Rinaldi. How long have you been Rinaldi. doing this show? Rinaldi. Rinaldi. You don't even know how to say my name. Rinaldi. Oh hey, well, Rinaldi. finally. Rinaldi. Not. You're in the Ooh, ballpark. Right. Renati, Renati, you know, Renati. Sort of, what? Says I'm what? Renati, Says okay, I'm what? anyhow, they're, you're, you're making them feel guilty uh, because you're exercising. Alex, please make Ray eat a donut. <laughs> I'm always exercising on here. I know. Yeah. If the, if the Alex Bennett show stopped tomorrow, you wouldn't get exercise anymore. Yeah. Exactly. It's the only way I get any exercise. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get some exercise and get a cold, frosty beverage. Um, would you like one? Or is no, I have mine. Mine's still. I'm I'm thirsty. I'll be right back. So He's got to go on. get a beverage. Uh, I'll be right don't back. don't uh, don't kill the, the screen. Are you going to do that with Corey? Did he go to meet Corey at the front door? No, he's not going to go meet Corey at the front door. Corey's in his jammies. Her. I mean jammies. Oh, is love her? You all. Her. Hey Alex, oh, just, is Central oh, Park yeah. is Central is Central Park a lake like they make it look like here on the news? Uh, I w didn't go to Central Park, so I can't get, attest to oh. that. I went over to oh. uh, the park over Morningside Park over here, which has yeah. a pond, and the pond overflowed. And uh, when I was over there, they were pumping out the water uh, that oh, okay. had overflowed. But it was just kind of like in a mm -hmm. little area, so I I didn't see oh. any major flooding. But I went out around two o'clock today, so <coughs> you know. But in the subways, the stuff was pouring down into the subways yeah. like a torrent. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, that happens because obviously, the 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 gutters in our town are so plugged up with paper and stuff that it overflows. You know. 
Uh, okay. Yeah. So that, but when you watch the news here, it looks like New York City is underwater. Uh, 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 I think. Uh, well, no. Let's see here. I asked uh, Shecky if he was underwater, and he said no. But then again, uh, he's up uh, up above. He's kind of up on a hill. So oh, okay. uh, he probably didn't have any problem there. Uh, I, you know, uh, there were problems, uh, but they certainly weren't in in, in Harlem. Uh, although, oh, okay. although I think the subways probably were not, we were not able to use them for a while today. Just simply, Yankee thinking. Stadium was uh, quasi flooded. Uh, was it? Yeah. yeah, they weren't using it, but. But it, uh, yeah. Well, I you know, I, I, so, and so the, so they'll complain yeah. about this for the next week. This will be right. the, this will be the news for the next couple of weeks here. It's right. easy when you're in a high rise oh, not to look at the over to the uh, abortion. Well, no, but I I looked out of the window and I looked down there. And I looked last night when I got off the air here, and it had been raining for quite a long time, and it was the streets looked normal. Mm. You know, think. your your pond that you went to in your little video, it looked pretty dirty. Dirty, dirty. It wasn't. It looked it, very dirty. It, it wasn't dirty. No. No. Did they if, film if you, on Golden Pond? I mean, it, it just didn't look like clear water to me. Well, it, 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 try and find clear water in ponds anywhere in New York City. That's okay. yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, did you see any of the um, videos that ABC put out with? Um, water just pouring down the stairs. The subways, the subways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's one shot of that. Yeah. There's right. one shot of that, and they keep showing it over yeah. and over yeah. and over again. Remember, like when the the bay bridge and then everybody, collapsed. what it does is then everybody ca starts calling you, going, "I saw the floods on TV. Are you okay?" Oh, God. No. The well, fires. Sing I'm here. on the eighth the floor. Fires. I'm on the eighth floor of a goddamn building for crying out loud. Do you Ooh. think the flood can get up here? <laughs> You never yeah. know with those tsunamis. Shred, Same thing with the fires. It, it, my my it, father's uh, it, wife, she called, oh, fires, fires. We heard the fires. Are you okay? Are you <laughs> yeah. okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm nowhere near the fires. <laughs> I know. Uh, but, you know, I mean, it it, it, it just, it's, uh, uh, and uh, you know, I feel for the people in California. Yeah, That's, me too. You know, what would you rather be in, a fire or a flood? They both sound pretty bad. Well, Drowning I, is bad. Uh, yeah, but but burning to a but, crisp but, but is can bad. You, can you swim? I can swim. Okay, but, you know. so I'm not. I would rather be in a flood than a fire. You have a better chance of surviving a flood than a, a fire. fire. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're a crispy critter, the one and only cereal that comes in the shape of animals. You remember that ad, do you? Everything's a song with you, no, isn't no, it? No, no, <laughs> no. Keep going, the, buddy. Conceit, You're entertaining. The conceit of the commercial, if anybody's old enough to remember, was post crispy critters. The one and only cereal that comes to you. How, how many here? See, anybody here seen The Good Place? The show? Yes, I've seen all the episodes. Yes. Uh, uh, once you get to the end of it, it's brilliant. It's really brilliant. Yeah, it got pretty bad for a while there, and then for it got about, really for good about again. One, about season three, about, no, season, was it season two, I think? Season three, I think season yeah. three sucked, and then it got good again. And then it got four. good again, and then as it ramped up yeah. for, towards the closing, it became very philosophical. How many seasons? Are yeah, there? Four seasons. And how many episodes a season? Uh, twelve? At, at twelve, well, actually thirteen. Thirteen, are they half yeah. hours? Yeah. Oh, phew. Yeah, yeah you can you just... I found it. a... Yeah, There's a through. hilarious show on Netflix called Norseman. It's yeah. a Norwegian show mm -hmm. done in English. It's hilarious. Oh, yeah, I saw a bit a of it. Yeah. Uh, you, but anyway, yeah. the point I was going to make about... Uh, what was the point I was going to make? About the <laughs> Before I good place, good place. No, but I was going to make a point about it, and then I... Uh, the ending. The ending? What, what about the ending? You said it was... Yeah. Incredible. At the end. Yeah, yeah. It, it's. But he it, was singing TV or commercial. It, it's just, it came to a very satisfying ending, and it did come to an ending. Okay. Yeah. So, that, as too many shows, like, kind of leave it up to, well, maybe we'll come back if, if you still yeah, like it. leave a, a, a window open. Yeah, they just have Ted, to force Ted Danson really kept that thing going. He really, he really gave, he yeah. really, uh, He's, he's, he made it good. Yeah. He's, he's a talented actor. But there was something about there was something I, I was going to say about up. that show. Oh yeah, yeah, they, I know what it was. 
uh, they were saying about uh, in hell uh, there have they've got the people in the bad place who are like the demons are holding a, a meeting you know a, biz, a meeting around a table right this is and he said, in hell, and, right. and okay. now we'll take out time to sing our national anthem and they sing the cars for kids song <laughs> Oh man! The most obnoxious song ever written. Yes, easily with the most obnoxious kids ever. Who I would love to go find those kids right now, and show those people what they look like today because that thing was done ten years ago. Oh God. That's just like going back at to least time ten years ago. And you know, even, even though I hate Dallas that jingle, Bennett I cannot remember the actual phone number. Is one eight R S cars You know, Alex, it's kids. more than ten years ago because I used to hear it on the radio driving my my kid who now who's twenty five years old at school when he was yeah. like six or seven years old. So but wouldn't that be the theme? It's like so twenty years. Wouldn't that be the theme song in hell? Probably. No. Yeah. No, I know that one. It's a small world. At oh, oh world. God! Oh, it's oh. A, this, here, here, you here. want to talk about how? Like, let me tell this. This is okay. a good story. Um, Rachel and I, my wife and I, uh, mm -hmm. are, are in Disneyland with my stepson. Who, you know, when he was like thirteen to sixteen, he had to go to Disneyland every year. We had to go to Disney. So we're in Disneyland. Um, he wants to go on some ride that I'm not interested in going in. So my wife and I joke, okay, let's do It's a Small World. You know, and we were pretty high. I got to admit it. We were, we were stoned. So we get on the ride, and we get to the end where you've got the cacophony of all of the different countries singing yeah. It's a Small World. So in quadraphonic sound, from China, from you know, in different languages, uh, over and oh, we got stuck. The ride I, well, got I, stuck. I talked. Oh, no. The ride I, got I, stuck, I, and I, we were there for ten minutes. I'm telling you, who is the comedian that I knew? Uh, he lives up in Canada. Yeah. Uh, but he 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 told me that he had that happen to him, where he got stuck. It, that it, happened. All, the, all that music is on a loop, so that right. when you go and turn another area. It then continues the song, right? And then they go to another t thing, and the music there continues the song that left off in and the other all, place. It's all digitally. Um, oh, you want to see the cutest though. kid in the world? Oh, look at that! That is that she is. She is adorable. Yes, indeed. Oh, she disappeared. Where did oh, she go? So shy. We can't see her. <laughs> She's just disappeared. I bet her head could poke up behind your father's shoulder, and it would look like he had two heads. She's not going to do it. No. God. Oh, well. That's okay. Oh, oh, where's she? Where, is Brian, she, do you have a Ferrari or just want a Ferrari? Uh, oh, there you go. Uh, there we go. There Here's we go. a McLaren. It's a new game called Where 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 is Adrian? There she is. Her name's Adrian? Where, where's Adrian? I saw her hand. Yo, yo, Adrian, what do you want to do? You want to walk, walk. <laughs> Did you know Rock, uh, Rocky Balboa, right? Yeah. This guy's unbelievable. You know, you see him first in Rocky's, you know, unbelievable. Yo, yo, Adrian, what do you want to do? You want to go out of war? So he comes back, Rocky, too. This guy's showing his versatility, the genius that is Sly yeah. Stallone, Rocky, too. Yeah. Yo, yo, Adrian, what do you want to do? You want to go out of war? You know, now, have you heard this? He's doing... This is amazing. He's doing Julius Caesar, Shakespeare. <laughs> He's playing <laughs> Mark Anthony. Really? Really, yeah. I, Yo, really, friends. What, what might that sound like? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that warm hand on my opening. Here we go. Yo, friends. Yo, Romans. Yo, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Versatility. Yeah. That guy is unbelievable. Uh, did she leave? Is she leaving us? No. She hey, hello, say hello, really quick. Say hi. 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 Tell everybody. Tell me that isn't the cutest kid you've ever seen. It's like a cupid doll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. She's okay. in her jammies. That's How's why she's kindergarten. Won't won. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Kindergarten, doing good. He says good. What are you yeah. learning in kindergarten? What are you learning? All that. Okay. Calculus. Cal. 
So he's uh, dance, dance, dance. Five hours of dance classes every week. And wow. Stuff. I ask her if she's if, if she's learning how to uh, the new dance that the kids are doing. Um, Do you realize we have John Larkin here? Shuffle Netflix. dance. Does she suck? Um, we have. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you're you're located where again, uh, William? Uh, Yuba City, California. Yuba City, California. Nice. We wow. have Alan. He's from California. Right. We have Brian. He's from California. We have Ray Renati. He's from California. And we have John Larkin, the only two people who are from this coast, are sitting here. Yeah. Uh, is, is and Jeff. Oh, Jeff. And Jeff, of course. Jeff. Even you're from San Francisco. I left why my did, why, why, why did I leave San Francisco? I could have stayed there and done this show. Yeah, why exactly. did you? You can still come back. We, we want you here. We yes, want you come here. Back. You, come back. Come back. Oh, yeah, you have to convince my wife of that. Yeah. Well, right. I, I got to tell you, though. You folks out there, I don't know, have you ever given a tour of your pad here or no? Oh, they know what it is. Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's a wonderful spot. And I nice really place. have grown very there, fond of Harlem. So there's some land clearing up in Lake Tahoe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There is. yeah. <laughs> very cheap. Yeah. Very They're cheap. having a fire sale. Is Cal oh! Neva? Oh! <laughs> Everything oh! must go. Is Cal Neva Lodge still there? Well, that's North Shore. <laughs> Cal Neva. South Shore is all the big casinos. Yeah, but North Shore is burning too. No, not as bad. Uh, not I don't as think bad. so. No. South it's South Shore. So, South, so, yeah, South we were we were married in the North Shore. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, because that uh, I wanted. I, to, uh, the yeah. buddy love. I grew up in the. You know, I grew up at Cal Neva every. I know. Summer. Your dad played violin yeah. up there. Yeah, played with Sinatra. Um, so, uh, friend of mine, I think you. I don't know if you know. Yeah, well, you know Robin Carr. She had a good friend who got married, and they got married at the Cal Neva. Really? In the room, in the main room. They got That's married. The North Shore they, room. It, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, right over the, the state line. And Buddy Love was the. Um, uh, I did the ceremony. You know, they were did you do it right on the? See, this is a a a, a club. Yeah. Called the North Shore Club, State, State Line Club. State Line Club at the Cal Neva. At the Cal Neva. Not and, a big room wait either. Minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's not a big room. My no. father used to play there. Sinatra used to play in that room with the Rat Pack. Okay? Right. Um, but they have a line that goes right through the center of the dance floor. Right? You're right. Through the room. And that's the State Line. Right. Mm. And, and they have a swimming. Then it goes out to the swimming pool where there's a line going through the swimming pool right. underwater that is also the state line. <clears throat> you, know, you know what movie they filmed there? Well, there are a lot of them. One of them was a, a film uh, a friend Godfather of mine. Godfather 2. Huh? Godfather 2. Godfather 2. Uh, not, not a Cal Neva. Leo. No, not a Cal Neva. I thought it... No, I thought no. Did. no that house no. is down on the... Uh, the, it's, the it's, the, it's uh, on the Cal Tahoe Lake. It, no, it's on the California side, and but it's, it's down near, near it's Emerald not, Cove. That, let me finish. It's down near Tahoe City. Right. Uh, and I used to pass by it all the time. It's, a it's still, yeah, it's not there anymore. It's still, no, it's it's still on the lake. It's still there. And it's, well, they divided it into nine properties. I looked it up a couple months ago. Oh, yeah, ago. but the main, the main house and the pier is still there. It's we're, called we're, the Buddy Lee Love House. Where they shot through the window and you know tried to right. yeah. Yeah. really p pissed uh, uh, what's his name? That I think guy, Francis Ford yeah, Coppola pissed him off and for a while. Then he went over to his brother and his and he kissed him <laughs> and took uh, had him go out for a little fishing. Yeah, yeah. Al Neri, Al Neri took him out fishing. He was supposed to go with this with the son and then yeah he just took him took a Fredo out there and shot him. Yep. What yeah. a bogus thing. Fredo, you name. broke my heart. That's right. My Kisses him on the cheek. And, I, and uh, Fredo knows immediately that he's done for. You know, a great story. Guy? A great story. Uh, Mark Marin, who was not terribly loved by the people at the comedy store, most of all, Sam Kinison. And uh, he came up to Kinison once, 
and said something to Kinnison about, you know, hey, Sam, great act, love your act, you're terrific, whatever. And when he left, Sam turned to the person next to him and says, I want nothing to happen to him until my mother dies. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. So good. But anyway, so um, uh, so we we got we had the little flooding today, you know. Yeah. Uh, nothing, nothing severe here, but up in the park it was a little. It was a little funky. And, and probably and if I went down to uh, uh, to Central way. Park, it was probably in some of the places where there were lakes they overflowed. Yeah. Okay, that was what happened. But it, it all receded quickly. And, like if I went down this way. It, and if you walk down this way, it's what we call the Harlem Mirror, and it's a big lake. And I, oh, I should have gone down there today to see how it was because, well, I, I was going to imagine be, it overflowed. Yeah, it did. And and uh, my um, stepson said <laughs> he calls his mother at eleven thirty when it's really pouring. Yeah. And um, what last night? Last night, yeah. And you know she's asleep and picks up the phone. Mom, um, the rain's coming through my air conditioning. It's like, so put some duct tape up, you know? It, it's like, what? What's with a twenty-one-year-old? Yeah, guy? and what's she going to do? Yeah, I'm going to be. I'll be. Right, I'll be right over. I'll be, I'll be right over. It's like, what? A, call Hang the super. The get off my back. God, Gee, in spite of all the rain, we didn't get any of it. Didn't none of it came in here. No. Yeah. Oh, out, out in the foyer. Um, yeah, we, out, we have the, the foyer. The, 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 the window the, was left open, and, and there's a puddle. Yeah, I, the outside our doorway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, not bad, though. Yeah. So. I kept I, my... Uh, kept I'm cool. all about cross-ventilation, guys. And uh, it's been hot here for quite a while, and this building is heaped, heated up, and you're on the top floor, so all the heat rises, correct? Yeah. I would say... Yeah. This particular unit and the one next door. Well, and this studio gets quite warm. Yeah, well, you get just it. simply because it can be cool in the rest of the house. It's hot in here. Wintertime, I don't have to turn on the heat. Because you've got the. Because I have all this stuff. Cool. All this stuff going. Yeah. 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 Do you keep the AC on during the uh, winter? You just no, don't, I don't need to. You just don't turn the no, heat on. It's that cold that it just warms up to a nice. Is, is even Are your utilities included with your rent? Who, mine? I, yeah, Alan, are you kidding asked. me? Try my $600 electric bill for the last month and tell me. Ouch. Yeah. yeah. Ouch. That's why you yeah. need sponsors. Well, also, I have 2,500 square feet here. Yeah. Yeah, so I you, got close to that. I run the air conditioner all day long. Do you? My I got to tell you. My bill's half of that. I'm, I'm working on a way. I want to get rid of my cable. And the reason I want to get rid of my cable is I don't want to cut the cord just simply because I hate cable. Right. But I have five cable boxes in this apartment. Do you know how much electricity they draw every month? You know how much heat they put out. Enough to heat well, the Well, that, that's how you can tell that they use a lot of electricity. When you have a lot of heat coming out of anything that you have, like a, a, a computer or whatever, you yeah. know that it's using up a lot of electricity because it's creating that heat. Something, the, something, all the, thermodynamics, something, yeah. something. Each of those cable boxes are costing me eight bucks a month in electricity. Yeah. And they Some all have right. to be on because we use all of them. Right. You know? So, I mean. I don't think I even want to tell you what my electric bill is. What is it? Oh, don't tell me. It's going to be like 13 cents. Well, yeah, close. It's actually more closer to $50 a month. Oh, you poor thing. Yeah. Well, see that? The, the, see that? you know now, what that is? It, it, That's one of those. Here. What? Yeah. <laughs> full disclosure, though, I live in a kitty litter box. <laughs> okay. William, you you obviously have a green screen. What uh, restaurant? No, he doesn't have a green screen. Well, what's this behind? Well, he, you can do green screen with Zoom. Oh, I without know. Without having a green screen. I know. But this, this behind me is the tea room in Midtown. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, thank tea you. Room. Yeah, the Russian Manhattan. Tea Room in, in, in Manhattan. Oh, in Manhattan. Oh, yeah, Manhattan. oh, okay. Okay, now we got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, uh, oh, I see. Well, but, but you're That's in California. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is that the Russian Tea Room in Yuba City? Y- yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's right around the corner. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's beautiful. Let's see here. Bray's getting himself a beer. 
in his uh, his Eichler. Mm -hmm. yeah. You yep. can tell Eichler kitchen. See, oh, yeah. it's all non alcohol product placement. And oh, good. You can good. swallow that with your it's product. Right? original non alcoholic yeah. beer. Now, that's an Eichler home, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you a tour if you want. Are they still in demand? Oh, more, yeah. th more than ever. Yeah. Yeah. More yeah. than ever. No like insulation in the ceilings. <clears throat> Ours has it. We put it in. They also radiant heating on the floors. Right? Radiant heating, but we put in the insulation in the ceilings and double pane windows, so it's it's nice. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. But yeah. but they had they were the first homes to be built with uh, oh I know with radiant he heating. Radiant heat. I love a lot Eichlers. of it. Do, a lot of them don't work anymore because they put stainless steel pipes in the, and they got corroded. But mine has yeah. copper, so it yeah. works. Does, um, is that good if you walk around barefoot during the winter? Does it, it, your feet get warm? Yeah. Get toasty? Yeah. 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 Remember uh, yeah, Colonel great. Parker, uh, Elvis mm -hmm. Presley's uh, manager, who took 50% of everything he made, started in the Carnies, in the Carnival. Mm -hmm. He was a Carney guy. All right. He would have Colonel Parker's dancing chickens. Yeah, that's and what, what he started out. He started out. He had a hot plate, and he oh, put yeah, the chickens yeah. on a hot plate. Oh, they danced. Well, we, they used to have a thing here in New York called the Dancing Chicken of Chinatown. Right. Oh. And you would go to this place, and you would put in yeah, yeah. A, a, a nickel. So what? Or a quarter, Where? or whatever it was at the time, a dime maybe. And uh, all of a sudden, you're they, not on the video. Ray. Uh, Ray. Oh, Ray. Ray. Yeah. yeah. Mute. We get mute. Oh, sorry. So yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we uh, uh, you you put a quarter in, and and the chicken would look at you putting the quarter in. He was like so neurotic from this whole thing yeah. happening. This is the only thing in his life. Right. And you put the quarter in, and all of a sudden the chicken who was on this circular dance Turn, stage, yeah, like a turntable, or something. like a turntable. It pulls down on a thing to play music because the reason he pulls on it to play music right. is it then means that a it piece of corn will come down ah, that he can eat. Right. And in the meantime, the hot plate starts heating up and he starts dancing to right. the music. But, oh. And his treat is... And, and I, didn't, I didn't know what was happening. I thought maybe it was a sh small electric yeah. charge or something like yeah. that. No, it was a hot plate. Yeah. But I found out years later it's a hot plate. Yeah. And I'm thinking, this poor chicken. I know. And they probably replace chickens every week, you know. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, what well, happened to Gus? If, if, no, oh, if, if, if <laughs> nothing more, these chickens, after having like 20 different dance sessions an hour yeah. from people putting in quarters, probably started getting really neurotic and having all kinds of mental problems. Yeah, and also, you don't want their, you know, the muscularity in their legs to be too strong because mm -hmm. then they wouldn't be tasty when you ate them. Now look at it that. Be, look at yeah. John Larkin. That picture is you, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's you. me and, uh, and that's 30 Mar years ago. <laughs> that's Marilyn right next to you. That's Marilyn that's Chambers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, wow. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, How much did I, that I cost you, Maryland John? Chambers, Twenty uh, bucks. The, um, worth it. That was worth was it. it. Oh, that yeah. was at the, the O'Farrell Theater. Oh yeah, I remember that. Place. The Mitchell Brothers Theater. Yep. Still yeah. there, isn't it? On Polk and something. Polk well, and um, Polk and I'm not sure it's open now. I don't uh, think near it's open. Polk, but on O'Farrell Street. Yeah. O'Farrell yeah. and Polk. Well, yeah. We, we got to know, we got to know each other quite well, and finally she wanted to go on on an official date with me, but. She said, the next time I'm in San Francisco, we should do it. And the next time she was scheduled to come to San Francisco, she was dead. Marilyn Chambers oh, is yep. dead? Yeah. Oh, yeah. When? Many years ago. Oh, oh, no. On the night that she had to have a date with Alex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she killed herself rather than go out with me. There you but go. I like Marilyn a lot. She was, I didn't know uh, she yeah. killed herself. Huh? When did no, she, kill she, didn't ki she didn't kill herself. She, she died. Kind of she had a heart attack or something. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, and she was young. She was pretty young. She was like she in her early fifties, maybe. Yeah, I would think yeah. so. Yeah. And, I mean, the real the real question here, John, is do, aneurysm. Do you have carnal knowledge. Aneurysm. Huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Not for twenty dollars. That, that picture was taken in well, eighty-seven. Wow. Yeah, William. Yeah, according to the LA coroner, she died of a cerebral hemorrhage and an aneurysm related to heart disease. And, when, and when was that? Uh, April 12, 2009. 
Okay, yeah. 2009. Was, uh, yeah. yeah, her daughter found her. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. What a yeah. rough way to um, find Mumsy. You know, I uh, I liked Marilyn a lot. I, she was a very decent, real good person. A you good know. entertainer. Uh, and actually, I think she was having to come to New York. The next time she was in New York, we were going to get together. She got arrested for dancing nude at the O'Farrell? Yep. Yeah. 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 What? I, um, you know, yep. you know who arrested her was uh, that guy that became the mayor. Uh, Frank was it? Frank Riley. Frank he was, Jordan. Frank, Frank Jordan. 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 Yeah. Oh, that, and, and 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 in the day that I was there and I got that picture, he came and got a got a big old uh, poster autographed by her. And this was after he had busted her like a year or two earlier. <laughs> Yeah. Frank Jordan made a comment. Some politician made a promise and didn't keep it. And Frank Jordan um, made a comment that, that went in the, the examiner like, fuck you, somebody. And that was the end of Frank Jordan's cop job. The mayor fired him. Yeah. 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 Well, he was the mayor. He, he was the mayor, the mayor after that. Oh, well, yeah, after that. But he yeah. was. And you know. One term and gone. Lost here's to a Willie Brown. Question. Who replaced Alex and took a shower with Frank Jordan and interviewed him in the shower? What do you mean replaced me? Yeah, the guy that that was um, that that took your job after you left. No, there was somebody and, on my show who took a shower with him. I believe. I, I don't thought know, that I don't was remember. the guy that that took oh, the guy gross. that had your show. Perry Stone <laughs> interviewed him in the shower. Remember? Wasn't I think that happened on my show, but I may be mistaken. But it was Perry Stone had the show at the time, I thought. I barely remember that guy. Yeah. yeah. Frank Jordan. Yeah. Blip. But I'm trying to remember when, when she and I were supposed to go out. I think it was while I was still in California. And then, you know, I heard about her dying when I started working at Sirius. Yeah. And I, I, mean, I felt bad about it. She was a nice lady. She was a decent person. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'd known her over the years, continually. I mean, from the time she first was in uh, the, behind what it, the green door, behind the green door. Yeah, you, you know, I was interviewing her for Midnight Blue and things like that. And, you know, going out to dinner with her and Chuck Trainer, who was then her husband at the time, who had been Linda Lovelace's former husband. Oh, that's he funny. kept linking up with those women every time. He, he oh. yeah, he liked them. Broke in, I guess. No, no, no. He he broke him in. Uh, okay. Yeah, he Big was uh, he was an interesting man to say the least. I, I yeah yeah. I would I would yeah. incur. I I got to meet uh, I got to meet him through a, a, a mutual friend who used to uh, do all uh, Studio D. They did all the um, post production for mm -hmm. for the Mitchell brothers the, uh, movies yeah. that they were making. Then Luther Green, and uh, I, I went to a, a party at the Mitchell Brothers Theater when Artie, uh, the two brothers were with Artie and what was the other brother's name? The two Jim. Mitchell brothers, Artie and Jim. 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 Okay, they were having an after party, uh, and I think it was after uh, Behind the Green Door had finally been finished, and they were doing a, a you know mm -hmm. premiere or whatever. And the party afterwards, oh, mon. it was even too much for moi. I had to, I, I just couldn't take it. It was too crazy. Wow. Too crazy. Too crazy. Yeah, one of the How brothers about, didn't survive the gunshot of the no. other one, did he? No. Yeah. No, that was Artie. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Artie did the uh, shot. Who? Uh, Jim shot Artie, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. And it, the fact of the matter was, I mean, I knew both of them, and Artie was a, Artie was a great guy, but he was crazy. He was nuts. Oh yeah. And I think he had just gotten to the point where where Jim, I think what he did is he shot him out of sympathy. Yeah. You I know? thought it was self defense. No, it was I don't think no, it was no self defense. defense. He, I, I, but it was he did. No. He did um, pay some time there, didn't he? Yeah, I think he so. did. He went yeah. to prison for a while. He got out and yeah. went right back into the porn business. Yeah, yeah. Three, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He did but three years then, in Clinton. Uh, I th I think his daughter inherited that business, and then um, and, and I don't know. 
I don't know if she sold it or what, but I, I there's a for sale sign on the building now. I oh. don't know who owns that building now, but um, it now if you go by there, it doesn't say Mitchell Brothers. It just says O'Farrell Theater. Yeah. Is is the mural still on the side of the building? Yeah, the yeah. whale. I think, I think that has been made a, a landmark by the yeah. city of San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's, on, it's on the Polk Street side, isn't it? The mural. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, yep. yeah. Up to, it's not. I think it's Larkin. Um, no. Which would no, be the Polk. next street down. It's, it's on, not it's Polk. It's on Park and O'Farrell. I mean, yeah. Polk and O'Farrell. Yeah, it's yeah. Polk. Yeah. yeah. I know. I live right around the corner. Yeah, it's uh, okay. It is. But yeah. it's like a half a building in. I think there was a parking lot or something there. That, yeah. That's, that's John's apartment. <laughs> the best thing about the Mitchell brothers was uh, one night they were holding some kind of party. And they hired a guy you all know, Larry Bubbles Brown, to perform. Mm -hmm. And uh, he um, got heckled. Wow. He got heckled. Only time he's ever been heckled in his life. Wow. Because Larry has this kind of act that you just don't get heckled because everybody takes pity on you. Yeah, to begin exactly. With. exactly. They're taking pity on him. And it was, um, uh, who was, who was, who was, who was uh, oh God, my mind is so bad. Right now. Okay, who didn't? Uh, who who was it? Who did Fear and Loathing? What's his name? Hunter uh, Thompson. Hunter Thompson. Hunter Thompson. Right. Hunter S. Thompson. It was Hunter S. Thompson heckling heckling him. Well, that's a pretty good. <laughs> and and uh, I was talking about it a couple of weeks ago. I said, yeah, oh. really? Yeah, oh. You kind of worn it as a badge of uh, honor, yeah, haven't you? You, you should. Sense? You should. I mean, I would think that would be soul destroying as a comedian if I was being heckled by Hunter S. Thompson. <laughs> uh, uh, not really, because you have bragging rights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You I, know. Guess who was heckling me last night? Hunter S. Thompson. It's a pretty good bragging right. Yeah. Was he sober? Are you kidding me? Uh, you know, but uh, no, Hunter, uh, Hunter S. Thompson heckled him. That's why I've always hated Hunter S. Thompson because I hate hex hecklers. Great know. retorts huh? to hec hecklers. Great, great. This was one of my favorites. Listen, pal, I don't bother you when you're running your Slurpee machine at Seven Eleven. It's always good. <laughs> and if it's yeah. a loud group of girls that, and quite often, yeah. would be coming to a buddy love show, and you know, I sing a song, and then in between. The song I tell a ridiculous story that uh, is mm -hmm. total fabrication of the truth, but nonetheless, I'm I'm doing comedy or trying to, uh, in a loud and boisterous uh, environment where women are just <laughs> so I'll go over to them and I'll try to get them to be quiet mm -hmm. and they won't. Yeah, and I'll get the audience on my side and then I'll, I'll drop this look, line. Look what's happening in my picture right there. You see that? Look at that. Who knows why oh, yeah. that's happening? What? Um, look, look at it. Looks look fine to us. I, I know, but here, going out over the air, people can see it. Yeah. Interesting. Well, thank you for breaking the um, the, the flow of my story. Oh. Uh, so this is one of my favorite lines. Wait, to a, a, a we loud group of better hurry women. up because we're almost over here. Okay. Okay. Listen, honey, I don't sit at the corner of your bed and talk while you're working. <laughs> Can't use that one anymore. I, I had to stop playing the theme for that. Oh, the theme's got to go. Well, go. You're going to be theme. on tomorrow night, Break aren't it up. buddy? Listen, buddy. Uh, Jack Bishop is not going to be on tonight, and we don't oh. know about tomorrow night, but uh, he uh, is in a. Uh, he, they finally found him a hospital room somewhere in Texas, uh, oh, no. and hopefully he's going to be all right. I called him today, and he, he's. Think, he's think uh, positive thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll play. Uh, no, no, no. He doesn't have COVID. No, no. Okay. Oh. That's not the problem. The problem is he fell down and hit his head on the on a table, <coughs> the of a table. That's and terrible. had a concussion. Here now, the paramedics ask him, "Who's Alex Jackson?" He said, "I don't know." Alex Jackson? Uh, never mind. Okay. Yeah. Well. Anyway, thank you very much, William. Always appreciate you being here. Uh, thank you to uh, Alan. And thank you to uh, Brian Neary. We really appreciate it, Brian, your appearance here. And uh, uh, let's see here, Jeff. Thank you, and thank you also to John, uh, Larkin. John Larkin and, and the late Chambers. Marilyn Chambers. Yeah. Everybody, That's give a big hard. wave goodbye, and we'll give a wave goodbye at you. Okay, 
There they go, folks. Bye bye. Okay. There they go, folks. That's, that's it. Wasn't that, wasn't that fun? That you have a good a time? Show. Okay. Okay, uh, now you got to show me how to get on this stuff. On this? Yeah, thing? yeah with Zoom and all oh, this. Oh, stuff. I'll, do you, Zoom is very simple. I, I've got. Yeah. I'm, I'll explain it to you. Listen to the show. I'll, and I, and I'll, talk I'll explain you it to you, but I want to get off of the air here. Okay. And then we'll, yeah. We'll uh, discuss it with you. Anyway, thank you very much for being with us. It's a great... Oh, we're still on the air. You were still on the air, and I'm signing off here. Sign off. We'll be back again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, when you if you see her, (laughs) tell her I love her, okay? And and, and please, wear a mask. And And get vaccinated. Or get vaccinated. No, do both. Do both. Yeah. Uh, Double mask. It's like wearing two condoms so one doesn't break. Well, anyway, we'll see you tomorrow night. Wave goodbye, everybody. There we go.